being mice to consider if you're looking to upgrade your current mouse or just looking to get a sense of what is available on the market. Now these are not in any particular order, but instead we hope to provide an objective top 5 gaming mice that we have reviewed. And starting with number 1, the Roca Tion. Now you can click on the name on the top right corner to view our full reviews on each of these mice, but this one seriously has one of the best button layouts you can find on a mouse. With awesome easy shift plus functionality that adds secondary commands to each of your buttons, there's a tilt joystick for aircraft control, and there's also a fin switch that isn't very comfortable to use but could serve helpful for additional macros. The ergonomics are top notch with proper thumb insert, curvature of the top frame with the slant to the right to properly support your palm. And I love the scroll wheel, uh, it has very distinct scroll steps and is also light enough to press uh, that is something I consider crucial for a gaming mouse. Now this is a laser option but with proper configuration in the software, the tracking is super precise without noticeable acceleration and let's not forget the awesome rim lighting that you can actually see while using the mouse. If you got the means to afford this $99 product, we would highly recommend this to get on your list. Now for number 2 we've got the ASUS ROG Gladius. This is their latest gaming mouse as of making in this video and it's got a lot going for it. The grippy sides allow light holding with good support along with proper thumb rest and extra form on the opposite side to accommodate for uh, your ring and pinky fingers. The optical sensor used in this mouse is considered one of the best on the market and if you have committed to optical mice you would definitely love this. The scroll wheel and quick DPI change behind it are tactile and allow users to switch between two DPI levels without needing to cycle through, as even when I game I use only two DPI steps to increase it uh, and decrease it if I get into a vehicle and if I exit. Now the best part about the Gladius would be the swappable arm run switches, as ASUS includes an extra pair that you can replace yourself for a different resistance click on either primary buttons and you can even mix them up to suit your resistive uh, preference. The red lighting looks sexy to suit the ROG color scheme and the Gladius is a strong contender within this list that should be considered just for $79. Moving on to number 3, Myonix Aviator 7000 and Myonix Neos 7000. Now I've grouped these two together as they use an identical sensor and just vary in the form as you can't avoid the left hand users. So for those who require that left hand operation, the Aviator 7000 is a good place to start. The Neos 7000 has been my daily driver ever since release and I've come to appreciate that slightly wider body that fits my hand like a glove for the thumb support and both ring and pinky fingers. Covered in soft touch coating, both mice offer superb build quality, but don't be thrown off by the light weight. Uh, it is unfortunate there is no weight customization, but you quickly can uh, adjust to the light weight for both the Avier and the Nails. They use outstanding switches for your primary left and right click and excellent side browser buttons for soft uh, roll off that provide tactile actuations but continue to travel inside the body that prevents it from affecting your aim. This is a brilliant feature. The optical sensor used here provide outstanding tracking given you combine this with a proper dark hard surface mat for best results. And finally the subtle lighting features uh, of an illuminated logo and the scroll wheel are super appreciated with full RGB spectrum that allows seamless color matching to the rest of your setup. And at $79, both the Avier and the Neo 7000 form a well-rounded bundle for lefties and an extremely comfortable mouse experience on the Neos as well. Coming in at number 4, we have the CM Storm Mizar. For those on a limited budget but still want the proper ergonomic design, good switches and a trusted Avago 9800 laser sensor, uh, so the Mizar might be a way to go. You get RGB illumination on the mouse, a proper glide feet at the bottom and rubberized sides for a better grip, along with large browser buttons for your thumb. The scroll wheel is not the best, at least not as nearly as good as with the other mice on this list, but the DPI change buttons behind the scroll wheel are appreciated with good access that for sure will come in handy and for $59 the CM Storm Mizar rounds off the features with a trusted layout to still be competitive. And on the last gaming mouse on the list at number 5 is the Logitech G502 Proteus Core. This is an extremely popular mouse for gamers that offer outstanding ergonomics with deep curve for your thumb 
and proper top surface curvature for comfortable handling. Now for larger hands, due to such a slim profile, you might not find it as comfortable, but this would be a total killer profile for smaller hands. All of the switchers are outstanding with really fast primary switches for FPS titles for example, quick DPI levels with LED indicators, and a sniper button to quickly activate your preferred sensitivity when it is pressed. This is also the only mouse in this list with customizable weights that comes with a storage compartment and that's really appreciated so you don't lose them. The G502 features an optical sensor with awesome precise tracking and the only thing to be aware of are the Teflon feet at the bottom that on our sample wore out easily and became an annoyance with tracking and there are many other cases like this online. Uh, so there's no replacement feet included, but it seems Logitech has addressed this issue by sending out replacement feet, and I also believe that extra set is now included in all the packaging. And well, that will be it for our top.